one another session guys thank you very much for you supporting us until this um uh uh, uh say uh, lecture series uh, guys now we are about to do question 10 11 and 12 but i don't think we're going to finish all of them today uh, but question 10 i'm gonna try to finish it today guys this is a uh, lecture series number 19 i think uh, guys, I, I, I skip numbers because I don't keep a record of how many lecture series I've done so far. But yeah, let us just go through this one and then the numbering will be done on the YouTube uh, uh, description. Uh, yeah, but welcome again, guys. I'd like to welcome you to another session. And we are continuing with Houting Prelim 2016 Paper 1. Okay, so we are doing question 10 today. Okay, so we are doing question 10 and let us just start with 10.1. But before we start the 10.1, let's look at the, at the problem statement. An open rectangular box is um, made of a very thin sheet of metal. So they say that the volume is 120, 128 centimeter cubed. So they gave us the volume. They said the volume is 128 centimeter cubed. Okay. And the base of the box has the width of, so the width is given by, x centimeters and the length okay the length is also given as 4x centimeters okay and they said to us uh oh so that's the problem statement okay so let me write 10.1 down here so 10.1 says that determine the expression of the height of the box okay so before i do that let me just give you uh the sketch that they gave us here the sketch is something like this so guys my sketching is uh, terrible but i'll try my level best to draw this thing as nicely as possible okay so we're gonna have something like this okay so this is the sketch they gave us that this is 4x this is x and this is h okay so let's do 10.1 so 10.1 they said that to determine the expression of the height of the box in terms of x okay so what we know is that if you want to do that this thing called um, the volume volume since we have got centimeter cubed it tells us that we are just multiplying whatever that we have there we're multiplying the length the width and the height okay so whatever that we're going to find we're going, it's going to give us centimeter cubed so the height is the only thing that is unknown so the volume is given by 128 um the length is given by 4x the width is given by x and then the height is just h so this will just give me 128 4x squared times h then our h in terms of x will be given by uh 128 divided by 4x squared but this can be rewritten as what is 128 divided by 4 128 divided by 4 is just 32 so this is given by 32 all over x squared okay so this is h in terms of x okay and then the second part they say that show that the total surface area of the box is written as so they want us to show that uh, the total surface area 2.2 uh, is show that surface area is given by 4x squared plus 320 all over x centimeter squared okay so this is what's going to happen now the total surface area of this one since it is opened yeah, it is open maybe let's say at the top now if you can look at something the total surface area of any rectangular box is given by two um i think is length times height uh, but it doesn't matter what it is. We can start with anything because since this thing is a is a addition of uh, sides and what what, so we're going to have two length times width plus two length times height plus two times width times height. So I want you to look at something. The width it's only defined here at the bottom because at the top we do not have anything. Okay, so that's we're going to have to take out this one okay because if you can check if at the top it's open because they said it's an open uh, uh, rectangular box uh we're going to have one two 
going to have one, two, but here we're going to have one, and the other part is not there. Okay, so hence I'm saying that here it's going to be one. Okay, so here in this case, uh, our length, which is going from here to that other side, or is it the width? I don't, I don't really know. Between the length and the width, one of them is not going to be there. What I mean is that here. Uh, let me have this this side we do have we do have this side we do have the back side there we do have that one but at the top it is not uh, uh, closed it's open so therefore we're gonna remove these two okay so then when you continue with this what we are going to have is um, our length is given by 4x our width is given by x because now at the top it's open Please take note of that okay so we only have two parts two of these two of those but one only at the bottom and at the top it's open so therefore we cannot have that one so two that is our length our length is uh, 4x and our height is just h and then two times x and our height is just h okay so you're gonna have 4x squared plus now this is going to be 8x h plus 2x h this is just 4x squared plus 10 x h because they are common they are the same okay so you got 10 x h but remembering that our h is written as 32 all over x squared we're gonna have this as 4x squared plus 320 divided by x because this and that will just cancel so we have just shown that so it is proven Okay, it's proven. Right. So now let us do the last part. So they say that uh, 10.3, calculate the height of the box for which the surface area is a minimum. Okay, so 10.3, the surface area is a minimum. So which means we need to find the first derivative. Okay, we need to find the first derivative of the surface area. So d dx of 4x squared plus 320 all over x should be given by the dx of 4x squared minus 3 or plus 320x to the negative 1 okay so the derivative so now let us find the derivative sorry about the lighting guy the derivative is given by 8x um, minus 320x to the negative 2 okay so this should be given or oh, this should be equal to zero because remember that we are looking at what at the first derivative and the first derivative we need to know what are those values of x so we need to find those values of x and then we find the height so now if you can look at that zero is equal to 8x minus 320 all over x squared we multiply everything by x squared this gives us that zero is equal to 8x cubed minus 320 then we're just gonna have to have x the subject of the formula okay x cubed is equal to um, 320 divided by 8 uh, which is 40 so now our x is given by the cube root of 40 okay the cube root of 40 but we still haven't solved the problem we just found the value of x so they say that we calculate the height of the box for which the surface area is a minimum so now let us look at uh, that value so now we're gonna take this substitute it to the height equation okay we're gonna take the value of x and substitute it to the height equation okay so let me just have it here gonna substitute it to the height equation so our height equation is given by 32 divided by x squared so our x squared is going to be given by root of the cube root of 40 and then we square that particular solution so then our final answer will become 32 divided by uh, let me have bracket and then let me have the cube root of 40 then we square everything so the answer is 2 comma 7 4 okay so the answer is 2.74 centimeters okay so this this uh, reaches the end of uh, 10.3 which is subsection number 19
18 i don't know <laughs> i'll just have to rewrite it well if you came this far please drop a like and please do share this video and if this is helping you please continue to um uh, uh, support as other videos are still going to be released soon thank you very much guys